Well, you may have detected a faint Manhattan twang in the fair Desiree's English delivery. That's because nowadays she lives and works in the United States, as indeed do the Herres brothers, who will shortly sing their hearts out for Sweden. Incidentally, each country's contribution will be introduced by this kind of brief, whimsical, not to say symbolic, little film. This is how our director sees Sweden, a yellow submarine in a sardine can. Herries are three brothers, Per, Richard and Lewis. And the words of the Swedish song are by Britt Lindeböder. The music is written by Torni Sordeböder, the Swedish commentator. Kurt Erik Pernqvist is the conductor. That's really going to pay those gold boots. That's Per, Richard and Lewis, the Herries brothers for Sweden. By no means the worst start to a Eurovision I've seen. And this, the home country next. Luxembourg, one last year with Corinne Hermes, Si la vie est cadeau. This is symbolic of Luxembourg's prosperity, agriculture, oil, oil, steel, money. Broadcasting on RTL all over Europe. The Luxembourg entry is called Son pour son d'amour, 100% of love. It's sung by the 20 year old Sophie Carl. The words are by Jean-Michel Perriat and Patrick James. The music by Jean-Pierre Cousson. Here's the conductor, Pascal Steve, for Luxembourg, son person d'amour. Sung by. That's a cute performance there from Sophie Carl from Luxembourg. The favorites, and there in the picture, you can see the successor to the Grand Duchy. It's France next. The theme is Haute Couture. La vie parisienne. Haute jewelry as well. These rascals that you see taking part in all these films are called les touristes. They're uh, condensing the symbols of Paris into jewelry. France's entry is called Autant d'amoureux que d'étoiles, as many lovers as stars, sung by Annick Tumazo, who's 24. The words are by Charles Lebel. A bit of heavy symbolism there. The composer Vladimir Kosma. Ah, the puckish French commentator. And the conductor here is Francois Robert for France. Spain next. And the old Camino Real. On the way to Spain, advertising panels and traffic signs reveal the charms of this country. Oh, look. Some typical Spanish stuff here, the Pandarilero. And indeed a bull going backwards. Just a moment, you will see a bull going forwards. Spain's entry is called Lady Lady. It's sung by Bravo. The lead singer of the group also wrote the words of the song, Amaya Haidar. The composer of the music is Miguel Blasco. That's it, boy. Your mother's watching. The conductor of the orchestra is Eddie Guerin. So far, they're out of left field. A good outside chance, I'd say, Spain, with that from Bravo, Lady Lady. The fifth song of the contest comes from Norway. Apparently the main attraction for tourists coming to Norway is the sea. It's been a calm day in the Skagerrak or is it the Katakat? <laughs> and of course, the oil drilling. And I'll be surprised if we don't have a burst in the midnight sun in a moment. Lengile is the song for Norway. Life is for living. Singers you'll be impressed with. Uh, Dolly Deluxe. They also wrote the song. Benedicta Adrian and Ingrid Bjorno. Conductor for Norway, Sigurd Jensen. Three from Dolly Deluxe. One of the favorites here in the hall. Well, the moment you've all been waiting for. Yes, I'm going to wave to my mother very shortly. It's the United Kingdom entry. Heavy symbolism here again, I'm afraid. 
These tourists. What can we do with them? What symbols do you think they're going to identify? Ooh, a teapot. That's good. I thought they didn't like our football here in Luxembourg. <laughs> Bell and the Devotions will be singing for the United Kingdom Love Games. The words and the music are by Paul Curtis and Graham Sacher. Kit, Linda and Laura. That's Bell and the Devotions. <laughs> That's the moment. Oh my goodness, it makes it all worthwhile. Here's John Coleman to conduct the orchestra. That's a typically understated performance there. Of Bell and the Devotions for the United Kingdom. And the message was only the blue there. It's Cyprus next. I want you to keep a close eye on this because it seemed like such a good idea at the time. Little video game, and the idea is for you to put your finger on Cyprus. No. Boys are fool. The Cyprus entry will be sung by the well built Andy Ball, who also wrote the words and the music. There, we found this success at last. The song is called Anna Maria Elena. The conductor is Pierre Cowell. Well received here in the hall. Belgium next. The eighth song in the contest out of 19 songs and countries represented. This film is a tribute to the great Belgian surrealist René Magritte. entry is called Avanti la Vie, On With Life. The singer is Jacques Zegers, and indeed he wrote the words of the song as well. The music was written by Henri Serrota. <laughs> nice that we all got a chance to wave, isn't it? <laughs> the conductor is Joe Callier. The Belgian. Dramatic song. Lucky fella surrounded by four very attractive girls. Aha, now look. It's Ireland next, but you probably guessed that. The four green fields and, and the drink of the country. The lakeside scenery. And another drink from the country. Ireland's entry is Terminal 3. It's performed by Linda Martin, hands across the border. She's from Belfast. And the author is Johnny Logan, writing under his name of Sean Sherrard. He won the Eurovision himself in 1980. The conductor for Ireland is Noel Keelahan. He's got the biggest cheer in the hall. He's a very good Irish party earlier on today. Linda Martin, the Irish entry, Terminal 3. That has a good chance. Denmark next. Our tourists are enchanted by the Little Mermaid of Copenhagen. Very nice. Not sure I'm all that keen on this one. Oh, dear. The Danish entry is De Liga Day. That's it. The performers are Hot Eyes, the author is Kel Haidt, and the music is written by Søren Bunga, who also sings with Hot Eyes. It's a very sore thing. The doctor is Henrik Kruskar. Fine singing and, and some great trousers there. Hot Eyes. On we go to the Netherlands. I like to think this is one of the best outsiders in the competition. The idea here, as you can readily see, is our merry band to sport themselves among some old Dutch masters.
The Dutch entry is called In Love With You, Ikhal Van Yol, sung by Maribel. For me, one of the best melodies in the contest. And the authors are Richard Debois and Peter Van Asten. Good man. The conductor, Rochier Van Otterlund. And certainly the best pole in the contest. Ikhal Van Yol for Holland from Maribel. It's Yugoslavia. Holidays through goggles. In the sun and the snow. This is the twelfth song in the contest so far, the Yugoslavian entry, Ciao Amore, Goodbye Love. The performers are Ida and Vlado. He's the fellow who sounds if he gargles with razor blades. And the words are by Milan Peric, Slobodan Bucevic wrote the music, Toshen Mato is the conductor. Ida and Vlado, rubbing together for a box of pastilles after the show, the Yugoslavia. On to Otrich, Austria. Guess what they're playing? <laughs> the old Blue Danube. Symbolism here, unless I, your eyes are playing me tricks, appears to be fiddles and chocolates. Or is it violins and cake? With any luck, this fellow's going to get his. The Austrian, see? Austrian entry is Ein Fahnweg, Get Away. It will be sung by Anita, Walter Müller and Brigitte Soibert wrote the music. Richard Osterreicher is the conductor for Austria. They, distinguished audience here of Luxembourger Burgers, Germany. The idea here was trip on the old autobahn to charming countrysides in the rearview mirror. Aufrecht game. Keep upright. What? With all the Luxembourg wine, I bet you. The performer is Marie Russ. Represented Germany before in 1972. The words are by Michael Kunze and Michael Reinecke. And the director of the orchestra. Oh! The director of the orchestra once again is Pierre Cow. He's working like a team. And a word of tribute to the designer of the set. I think this year has been really outstanding. Roland de Groot uh, from Holland. Uh, breath of the Mystic East. Turkey. On the old flying carpet. Thousand and one nights. Turkish entry is called Halai, which is after a folk song. And the performers are Beshil Onche Onyil Sonra, he said more in hope than in anything. Five years before, ten years after. Uku Akash is the author. Music's by Selçuk Basash, and he's also conducting the orchestra, as you can see. Suddenly brought home to me that turquoise must be a Turkish colour. Halai. Well thought of among the crowd here. We've got four songs to go now, four countries. It's Finland next. According to the little bit of writing that they have here, Finland is the country where the national sport is sauna. I only read these things, you know. It's all the spot at home, we fun, really. The Finnish entry is Hengaila which is translated as Come on, let's boogie. Seems to miss the magic song. The interpreter is Kirka. The words are by Yossi Tuominen. 
The music by Yuka Sikabira. The man has conducted 18 years for Finland. Very thankless task. Orsi Rune. The harmonica as well. Kirka, blue-eyed rascal. Finland. Switzerland. This is very heavily symbolic, and I must say, much of it escapes me. You can understand the skiing and the gold bricks. Is that an Emmental cheese they're dancing on? Anyway, Switzerland's song is Welche Farbe hat der Sonnenschein? What color is sunshine? Performers are rainy day. No, not those performers. The ones that go to sing in a minute. And the words are by Gunther Löse, and he wrote the music as well. The orchestra is conducted by Mario Robiani, for Switzerland. And by rainy day. The distinguished audience here includes the Luxembourg Prime Minister, most members of the government, as well as the heir to the Grand Duchy. It's Italy. Only two more songs to go. This and the Portuguese entry. These are a bunch of fun lovers, aren't they? The Italian entry is I treni di Tosur. The trains of Tosur. I knew there'd be trouble. The words are by Rosario Cosentino. Music's by Franco Battiato. Keep an eye and an ear out for the backing group. Conductor is Giusto Pio, the singers Ricci and Franco Battiato for Italy. Very different. From Italy, Treni do Tozer, the trains of Tozer. We definitely won the award for the best backing group. The final song of the 19 taking part. Portuguese entry. It's the port going to their head, you know. The Portuguese entry is called Silencio e Tanta Gente. Silence and so many people. The singer is Maria Gino. And indeed, she wrote the words and the music. Oh, bom dia. This is Pedro Osorio.